Developers are vying to be the one chosen to put a new grocery store on a South Park on South Park Street in Madison. Neighbors called this a relief after there were concerns that the pick and save would close and create a food desert. Rose Schmidt explains how this alleviates a lot of concerns there, Rose. Eric, maintaining access to healthy food is something Southside neighbors and city officials recognize is a major priority. And now a statewide effort is underway as well. The neighborhood glue that holds this neighborhood together. You can't overestimate the impact a grocery store can have on the surrounding community. Me and many of my neighbors are uh, use it every single day. Rob Summer Bell lives just a short bike ride away from the pick and save. If I'm in the store, I often see you know neighbors that I know. He was one of many neighbors who were concerned the grocery store on South Park Street would close and leave the area without access to fresh food. Very concerned. But the city stepped in aiming to make sure that wasn't the case. Main priority for the city and I think for the neighborhood and for community members is to have a grocery store uh, remain within South Madison. The city now has four competing proposals to build a grocery store in the lot next door and pick and save will still likely close at some point. We would continue to work with Roundies and Kroger which we've already have, have done and try to figure out what that timeline looks like, what's a feasible timeline, and then work in tandem to and collaborate to make sure that there is no gap in grocery store service in South Madison. This issue even piqued the interest of state lawmakers. Two representatives are working on legislation aiming to prevent food deserts. They're considering offering tax credits or some type of incentives to grocery stores. The more work that can be done on this issue, the, the better off communities will be and that we'll, we'll have more opportunities to try to, to, to solve this problem. That's also what neighbors like Rob Want. Hoping for no gap in the service. Not just for his personal convenience, but to keep that glue holding the neighborhood together. It's going to help neighbors that don't have means of transportation, uh, of which there are many who walk there, uh, be able to have a, a reliable, stable source of, for food. The city asks residents to come to a public meeting on September 26th where they can hear what community members think about the four proposals. All of those proposals have a grocery store included, but they also have other elements such as affordable housing and retail space. Eric. Rose Schmidt reporting. Rose, thank you.